Hello and welcome to Campus Update. I'm your host Steve Mitchell, Special Assistant for Media Relations here at BRCC. We're joined on the update today by Mr. John Warren, the IT Project Manager here at BRCC, and BRCC's Chief Information Officer, Mr. Ron Solomon. Guys, thanks for being on the update. Thanks for having me. Now, Ron, we've got some important changes coming up with our website. Tell us about what, what to expect, uh, some exciting news for the BRCC website. Yes, we're very excited. We're about to launch our new website. Right. Um, it's been a long time coming. You know, our old website had some, some issues that were uh, definitely noted via the students and faculty. I know in, in many ways as an institution we sort of outgrew our website a little bit, which I guess is a good thing. It's a good thing. And it sounds like now we've got a, a site that's kind of designed for our new institution. Yes, and we've been getting a lot of feed, positive feedback from all the uh, faculty and staff that has been contributing to the site. John, tell us a little bit about some of the positive things we can expect to see in this new website. Yeah, so one of our main goals whenever we uh, got together and started uh, collaborating on getting this new site together was to really focus on navigation, ease of access for students and faculty to be able to really get into the site, find what they need, get in, get out, you know, have that capability. Uh, the top sticky bar follows you wherever you are on the site, so you really have an easy way to, to get back to things, to navigate through the site, so we're really excited about that. I know uh, in, in some of that feedback we got, we know, you know, for a fact that a lot of our students are coming to the BRCC website to log in and check, you know, campus email to connect to our learning management system, which is, uh, you know, Blackboard uh, historically, uh, maybe connect to Lola so they're going to register for classes. Those things that they need to log in to sort of a, a second site. Uh, and they do that a lot of times from the BRCC homepage. Is that still going to be the case with the new site? Oh, absolutely, yeah. All the uh, quick links that you're used to seeing on the uh, old site will absolutely be available on the new site. And so that'll still be a home base for students, depend, regardless of what they're coming to do. Yeah, you go to log in on the old site and get to all your options. You go to log in on the new site and it has all your options there as well. Ron, I know the website's just one of the many projects that is sort of uh, coming down the pike for new electronic resources available to students. What are some of the other things that are going to be uh, coming online soon? Well, very soon, along with the website, our new mobile app will be launched as well. Uh, the, the mobile app will have a lot of integration with uh, the, the learning management system, Banner, uh, and actually in integrate with our, our new website because it's now new, it's now web-centric now. I got you. And that was, I think, uh, I know in, in seeing this process, uh, you know, move through, that was one of the things is that uh, the, the new website is really designed to be extremely mobile friendly. Mm -hmm. And I know a lot of the feedback we get is a lot of our students, that's the, the sort of the first way they're getting to our website. You know, they're doing it through a smartphone or something. And so it's really designed, I guess, to, to make that transition as easy as possible. Correct. Yeah. No, it's, correct. It doesn't matter which device that you're in, it's, it's, it's tailored to, to actually take in effect, you know, the, the real estate that you, whatever device you're using. And I, I know around, you know, the college is really dedicated to that concept of access and it sounds like this sort of the retooling of the website is a way to really make that a, a reality electronically for our students. Yes. Ron, now just recently Baton Rouge Community College merged with Capillary Technical College. You know, we now have the Mid-City Campus, we've got instructional sites all around the region. Is the new website sort of inclusive of that growth, sort of the bigger BRCC family? Yes, it is. Uh, one of our main goals when we actually start designing the new site was to make sure that we included capital area, old web website information into the new one. So you're going to have both our existing website and plus capital area. And so for students now, as we're moving you know, forward into the, the coming semesters, there's still some uh, separation in terms of how courses are listed once students get into Lola and that at that stage when they're registering for classes, they're still selecting either Capital Area Technical College courses within Lola or Baton Rouge Community College courses that are within Lola. And I, it sounds like in seeing some of the preview stuff, that's sort of addressed in the new website to help give students clear direction. Is that correct? Absolutely. All right. So, uh, so again, new website coming online very soon. And uh, if they have any questions, contact the IT Help Desk Ticket uh, uh, office. That'll be on for faculty, staff, or students. That's correct. Uh, and then it sounds like we've got some other exciting stuff coming on too, a new app. Um, also, just while I've got you guys, another thing I know we've talked a little bit about is, is Canvas. That's another big change that's coming to students. Could you tell us just a little bit about uh, what Canvas is and about that transition? Canvas is, a new, is our new learning management system. So we're starting this summer, uh, we're, uh, we're moving to Canvas. Um, from, and currently from Blackboard. Blackboard. So, from Blackboard. And, and a learning management system is that electronic sort of home for 
online learning or for any of those online resources that any class may may offer. Correct. And so we're going to be transitioning to Canvas, and that starts this summer, correct? That starts this summer. So a lot of big changes coming, and it sounds like they're all for the better. Yes. All Looking right. forward to it. Well, good. Well, guys, thanks so much for being on the update. Again, make sure you continue to monitor your BRCC email for updates about the launch of the new site. Uh, be sure to stay tuned to our social media channels where we'll continue to have some previews and information about the new site as well as information about Canvas uh, and the new BRCC app as soon as that's available. Thanks. All right. Again, this has been an episode of Campus Update. We look forward to seeing you on the next, next episode. Remember to please share this information by sharing the bear on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. See you soon.